Subtopic 2.4, Adaptations in Respiratory Systems How the respiratory system adapts in different surroundings The respiratory structure of most organisms, including humans, have three features to ensure an efficient gases exchange with the surroundings. These three features are as follows. Moist surface of respiratory structures, such as the moist surface of alveoli, Thin respiratory structures such as the walls of alveolus and blood capillaries which are one cell thick. Large surface area of respiratory structures such as the surface area of millions of alveoli. Different organisms have different respiratory systems and adapt to maximize the rate of gases exchange in different surroundings. The respiratory structures which adapt in different surroundings include moist outer skin, gills and trachea moist outer skin amphibians such as frogs are organisms which can live on land and in water the respiratory structure of frogs can adapt to increase the efficiency of gases exchange while they are on land name one respiratory structure of frogs which can adapt for gases exchange while they are on land other than lungs, frogs usually use their moist outer skin for gases exchange. The skin of frogs is thin and very permeable to gas. The skin of frogs is also always moist because it is covered by a layer of mucus, which causes the respiratory gases to dissolve and diffuse easily. Under the layers of skin is a dense network of blood capillaries to increase the diffusion rate of gases between the skin and the blood capillaries. So the nostril, oral cavity, glottis, moist outer skin, and the lungs. Okay, so this is the lungs of the frog. Okay, and moist outer skin. Okay, so characteristic of the skin of the frog, moist, thin, and very permeable to Gas. Okay, very permeable means the gases exchange occur easily. Gills. Fish is an organism that can only live in water. Therefore, the respiratory structure of fish, namely gills, can adapt to increase the efficiency of gases exchange in water. Gills are made up of two rows of fine filaments that have many thin and fat projections known as lamellae. As shown in the figure. The number of filaments and lamellae produces a large surface area to facilitate gases exchange. Since fish live in water, their gills are surrounded by water and this causes the respiratory gases to dissolve and diffuse easily. So this is filament and blood vessel. So this is the flow of water. Okay, uh, so here the network of blood capillaries. Okay, the blue color uh, illustrate the deoxygenated blood. Okay, uh, the red color vessel shows the vessel that carry oxygenated blood. So this is the flow of blood. Okay, and then flow of water, lamellae. Okay, this is lamellae. Alright, so each gill composed of filaments, gill arch and lamellae. Okay, so this is water flow. Okay, this gills filaments. Okay, blood vessels, gill arch. Okay, oxygen rich in blood. Okay, oxygen poor in blood. Okay, so water flow over lamellae showing percentage of oxygen. Okay, and blood flow through capillaries in lamellae showing percentage of oxygen. Trachea. Okay, the respiratory system of insects is the trachea system made up of air tubes known as trachea as shown in figure 2.16. Air enters or leaves the trachea through breathing pores known as spiracles. The opening and closing of spiracles are controlled by valve which allow air to leave and enter the body. Trachea is divided into fine branches known as tracheoles. Tracheoles have thin and moist walls to increase the efficiency of gases exchange. The large number of tracheoles also provides a large surface area to facilitate gases exchange 
through diffusion directly into the cells. Some insects, such as grasshoppers, have air sacs in their trachea system. These sacs are filled with air to increase the rate of exchange of respiratory gases between tissues and the surroundings during energetic activities. So this is the trachea system of grasshopper. The air sacs, okay, the trachea and the spiracles. Okay, so this is the trachea. Okay, oxygen enter. Okay, the carbon dioxide. Okay, and this is muscles. So the summarize of trachea for insects. So it consists of trachea, air tubes, tracheoles, spiracles, the opening structures, and air sacs. Okay, many tracheoles with thin and moist walls. So the air sacs, spiracles, trachea. Okay, so this is body cell. This is tracheal, the air sacs, okay, the trachea, and air enter, okay, and give oxygen to body cell of the insects. Okay, now I want you to answer formative practice 2.4 in your exercise book 2. So you may write one question and answer all question number 1 to number 5 and upload in Google form that I will provide later.